Hundreds of area families are still without power, including 500 people in Kansas City, Kansas. For some, it's been 48 hours since they lost power Sunday night. KMBC 9's Brian Johnson is live in one KCK neighborhood with the impact on families there. Brian? Yeah, and BPU has been working to restore power so quickly, it's hard to tell which homes have it and which ones don't because it's so hit and miss at this point. Take a look. You can see the damage, though, from the storm in this neighborhood. BPU says there's about 60 people still out. A lot of those folks have their power back on. And today was the last day of school for parents. They're hoping those remaining without power can have it back on for tomorrow since the kids will be home. Trees are on houses, power lines are down. Near Wood End and Vista in Kansas City, Kansas, about 120 neighbors have no idea when the power will be back. They've called BPU several times to ask. Yeah, I haven't really gotten any straightforward answers as to when or why. Kelsey Diedrich waits at the bus stop for her son. They've been frequenting the grandparents' house to get by. We just kind of make do with what we can and hope that it gets turned on soon. With no power, they've salvaged what they can from the fridge. The rest is trash. Every home has a similar story. I'm beyond frustrated. I've called, you know, uh, neighbors have called several times. You know, we're all fed up with it. BPU has brought in crews from other cities to help with around the clock restoration. At the peak, 11,500 were out. Now they're going block by block and house by house to restore the remaining customers. I don't doubt that they're not working or not busy, you know, it's just it's frustrating for us who have to deal with it. For now, they're off to grandma's house again. They hope to return home soon. In Kansas City, Kansas, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. Now, BPU says as long as there are no news storms, all of its customers should have power by the end of the day tomorrow. Evergy also has extra crews working to restore power. Here's a look at the online outage map. Right now, 3,100 people are without power. The utility expects to have everyone's lights back on by tomorrow morning.